All right, today is January 22nd. No. January 22nd. Let's try that again. All right, today is March 22nd, and we're gonna start a new breeding project with our chickens. So we had this idea. What if we combine one cute crazy breed with another cute even crazier breed? How would the cross of those two breeds turn out? So over the next few minutes, we'll show you what happened in the next four months. Would they hatch and what would they look like? We got a little chick. Last year we hatched out some silkies by using all silkies. This year we want to put a little twist on it. We've got this guy. This guy's a little frizzle rooster. Oh, I got him. <laughs> So this look combined with silkies, there's silky number one or a silky frizzle or frizzle silky. That's the look we're going for first. So let's get a couple of the silkies in here, get some nest box, some food and water, and we'll start breeding project number one for the year. And then here's our last one. This is another black one with some brown on her neck. Really pretty. Let's put her in as well. Get a bowl here. And I've got to truck them down a nest box. So for a nest box, they just need something simple that they can lay their eggs in. It protects them from the weather. Put a couple boards under it just to keep it off the ground. So these are some nest boxes we've been using for a long time. Has some bedding in there. Best practice is to leave them for 30 days, separate from all the other roosters, to make sure that you're actually getting the breed you want. But we're gonna do it for about a week. We'll just eat those eggs, and then after a week, we'll start collecting them or make sure that they're starting to sit on them. We should get some really great combinations from these guys. Let the Silky Frizzle Project begin. How many eggs we have? Two. Okay. We've got about six inside so far. That's good. We've had to bring the eggs inside every night because it's still cold out, even though it's early spring, but none of the silkies are sitting on the eggs. All right, so we're getting enough eggs from these guys that we can start to get some broody hens on. So we've got a coaching hen to go in here. We're ready to get the rooster out. All right, buddy, you did your job. <laughs> Look at that. It's a windy day out, but I'm excited to start this hatching project. We've been collecting these eggs over the past week. I think the oldest are about a week old and we just got a dozen. I think they had an egg in there today. So to start this hatching project under our broody hens. This morning, Becky had a good idea to move in some of our broody hens from the Bantam flock because our silkies have not been broody and wanted to sit on the eggs. And so we had to find somebody who was ready to sit on them. We can move the silky ladies out probably in another day. We'll let them lay whatever other eggs they have and then we'll move them out. And then we'll just leave these red cochins in here to hatch the eggs out. We've got these 12 eggs. They're gonna go right under these pretty heads. Look at how cute they are when they push them under. And then there's our oldest egg. It's one from 328. So it is the first Wednesday in April. I think it's uh April 6th, so hopefully around the last week, around the 26th or the 27th, we'll see some little silky frizzles hatching out. That'll be awesome. The work of a broody hen is a pretty lonely one. They spend 21 plus days sitting on eggs by themselves, trying to stay entertained, and occasionally they get up for a little food and drink. And then they get right back on those eggs. So they've got to keep them warm so that they'll hatch out. What we didn't know is just how long these eggs were going to take to hatch. Hatch day, let's see if we have any chicks. Here, Mama. Oh, nothing yet. Oh, no. Check. Gotta have something. Come on. She got off of them. All right, so it is the day after hatch day. Maybe it's right on the hatch day. Sometimes I get my numbering of my dates wrong. Man, I really hope we have some chicks starting to hatch. Okay, let's try a little egg candling. No. On day 21, we came in to check if there were any little pips or basically if the chick was trying to hatch out yet. On day 22, we started to candle the eggs just to see if we could see any movement or growth inside the egg. Kind of hard when it's bright out. That one's wide open, that one can go. So by candling the eggs, I could see that these ones were just full of liquid. Nothing had developed. Let's see if we can hear any peeping. And then I also held them up to my ears. Sometimes I can hear little peeps, little squeaks, if there's any chicks that are about to hatch out. Some of these eggs are kind of cold, so she's not getting them. Some of them fully covered. So we are down to eight eggs. Gosh, we started with this about 15 eggs. We'll have a few more days. I'll probably bring out the candler to 
double check, but we don't see anything. We're gonna have to start this again. Not looking good. All right, two days after. Let's see if she's got anything. No baby chicks. Not even a sign. After day 23, we were just about to give up. One more day and we'll start again. But then we finally had some good news. Oh my gosh. Get one. Yay. What color? It's gonna be a black soaking? It's gonna be dark, yeah. Don't throw them out yet. All right. How exciting. You gonna check for a chick? Egg. Egg, okay. I don't hold it. Just checking. We got a chick! We got a little chick! Oh, how exciting! Oh, we just wanted to come see how the mama and little chick were doing after seeing them start to hatch. So we'll let them keep going and hopefully some other chicks will, will join them. So. I will forget. <laughs> That's right. After 24 days, we finally got our first Silky Frizzle chick. Can you believe how long that took? We've never had one hatch that late. But was our coach and Don hatching out chicks? Not even close. What do you think of this little guy? He's so cute. It's really hard to see if he's a Frizzle. He looks just like a Silky right now. Until he starts getting his other feathers in and starts curling backwards, we don't know. So we'll have to wait and see. Oh, it looks like a little white one, too. Yeah. Yay! What do you think? Probably gonna be a blue. Is that right? Huh? Yeah. Kind of a grayish, white. grayish white. Could be gray, could be white. It's hard to tell. Oh, here you go. There's one. Oh. That's awesome. Is this number two or number three? This is number two, I think. Okay. There's an egg. So, oh, oh, oh. Well, very similar, so I don't know. Oh. That might have been the new one. one. Yeah. So two and three both look whitish gray? Yeah. Maybe a blue though. Yeah. And then that first one that was hatched out. <gasps> yes. It yes. looks like a dark one too. Oh, you think that is? Maybe a dark? I don't know. It's hard to tell when they're wet like that. That's my guess, it's a dark one. So whenever they are spread out like this, it's a concern because the mom is gonna get up and start taking care of the chicks, showing them how to scratch and get water and stuff. And so she's gonna leave those eggs and they can get cold. So hopefully she doesn't abandon them yet if they're still hatching. Let's see. Cute. Yeah. Little cookie. This is a silky frizzle. That's right. After 28 days, we finally got our four silky frizzle chicks. Water. New water. We had three white chicks hatch out and one little black chick. So cute. And after two weeks after they hatched out, look at their feathers. You can already start to see those frizzle feathers flaring out. Oh, how exciting. But you didn't come here to see silky frizzle chicks. You wanted to see what they look like grown up. Well, we've got that for you, too. <laughs> we got there. A fuzzy chick? Yes. So it has been three and a half, almost four months since these little silky frizzles have hatched out. Let's show you how cool they look now. <laughs> this is our black frizzle silky. Got some of that brown from the silkies, I think. And I think he's a he. I think we've got a rooster in this one. We've got a loud noise coming from the, this little coop they're in now, so. Pretty sure this one's a, a little rooster. You ever seen a chicken quite like that before? No. No. And then we have two white silky frizzles. Did these guys turn out the same or are there any differences? Look at the comb. This is this type of comb and then there's... So, yeah, picked up two different types of combs. Any other differences you see? The eye The color. eyes? Eye color different? Yeah, really? 
That one's darker and this one's lighter. Oh. Okay, so the blue comes from the silkies, right? The blue, the blue skin. Yeah, and this one doesn't have it. Does he? A little. Now, how about toes? So typically, silkies have two, five toes. Three, four, five. Oh, it does have two right together. One, two, three, four, five. I, it's that's that's weird. There's two that are like on the same. This one, there's five toes, but this one's more separated. So this one is our really our silky cochin that didn't get the frizzle gene. It doesn't look like the frizzle look there. Oh, you liking that? Compare these. Look even at the comb. I know. There's barely any comb at all. Yeah. No waddle. That's why I always think that he, these guys are roosters, too. The feet are blue, so there's definitely some silky in here, even though it's very coaching-like. So in the black one, when we have the four toes, one, two, three, four, and no, no uh, double or split toe, so they're all a little different from each other. So after about four months, four and a half, gosh, we started this in March, now almost August. And it's fun how this project worked out. Now you might wonder why or ask why don't you guys just mix chickens all the time? Why don't you try, why don't you just let them hatch out whatever they want in the coop? And it's kind of where chaos would begin because for us, we like to keep things pretty organized. We like to keep purebreds whenever possible. And so we've been pretty resistant to mixing breeds and we want to try to keep things organized and know who's where and what they were mixed with to create them. And so what other combinations or mixed breeds would you like to see us test out? I know some people have done silky frizzle combinations in the past. Ooh, I got it. Do what? a mix with this kind of mix. Well, no, that I wanted to see the frizzle on some other, like the, the frizzle gene is super cool. And so what other breed would you like to see? Like the frizzle Polish, is pretty cool, the Frizzle or I Am Chimani. Of course we have the Indio Gigantes, but they're just starting to breed. They haven't laid any eggs yet, so that won't work quite yet. So we'd love to try this again with some other breeds, so let us know what you'd like to see mix next. Oh, and now these guys are big enough. These guys are a little over three and a half months old now. And that's usually about the time we get a lot of questions on when to combine chickens in with the main flock or with bigger birds. And so that's usually about the time that we like to do that. So these guys are gonna move from their little coop and they're gonna move in with the Bantam flock or the other little chickens. And so these guys tonight, we'll move them over with the small birds, but the adult small birds. Thank you for watching us do this hatching project. See you next time. See you next time. Good job. See if I can do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah.